Did those feet in ancient time walk upon England's mountains green? This is a story about a place, and the place is the White Horse Hill, Duffington. It's also it's about a hero, and who the hero is, maybe nobody knows, but people have had ideas, so many ideas over the centuries. The White Horse Hill, you'd know it if you saw it. It's near Uffington, in the Berkshire Downs, and at the top of the hill is Carve, this immense, sweeping, looping shape of a horse out of the living white chalk of the ground. And people have wondered for so long, who made it and why and what did it mean for the people who lived here at the time? And this is where the hero comes in. Because at the foot of the hill, well there is Dragon Hill, a small mound with a patch of earth where grass himself slew the dragon, vanquished the great evil beast, and its poisonous blood spilled into the soil. And that is why grass will not grow in that place. And they say that the white horse was St George's steed that he rode to victory on that day. But then there are others, antiquarians and historians later, who said maybe Maybe the horse was carved by the Saxons to commemorate King Alfred's victory over the heathen Danish horde. For did he not sound the blowing stone bare miles away to summon all his forces to that place for his last great push against his enemy? But what the archaeologists know now is that that horse is older than both Alfred and St George. And it is a good 3,000 years old. That puts it in the late Bronze Age, way before recorded history even began on these islands. And the stories that the people who lived there at the time might have told about that horse and whoever might have ridden it may have not survived, but if you look around the country, then there are traces, stories of a son who was stolen from his mother, who underwent penance, carrying people on her back as a horse for seven years until he was restored to her. Or maybe, maybe he went missing as a young hero down below the horizon into the shadows of the world of the dead. And it was his mother who went beneath the ground to rescue him. Maybe there's even more to the pair of them than meets the eye. For not far away from Uppington is the smithy, the ancient mound, where they say Wayland forged his great works of art and violence, swords and armour for heroes of legend. But where does the hero go when all the fighting is over? Who lies sleeping beneath the hill? All these stories.